dear students in the first video we have seen what are microorganism where are they found the different types of microorganism the different uh, uses the different useful uh, microorganism now in this video we will see the harmful effect of microorganism harmful So, these microorganism causes disease. So, the microorganism that can cause disease, they are called pathogens or germs. Pathogens or germs. So, disease causing microorganism are called germs or pathogens. Disease causing microorganisms are called germs or pathogens. Now, these to cause disease, first these microorganisms have to be enter in the host body or the human body. And what are the ways through which they enter? So, the first way is through air. Through air. So when a person suffering from common cold or flu, when he or she sneeze or cough or spits, germs are released in the air and a healthy person breathing this air can be infected. Some disease that are spread through the air are common cold, chicken pox, flu, then your mumps, tuberculosis, measles, polio, these are airborne disease. Now second is through food and water. So contaminated water and contaminated food they also causes disease like cholera, typhoid and hepatitis. So through, through food and water. Third through direct contact with the sick person or infected person. Now whoever has some disease and when we are in direct contact with that person, we can also be infected like ringworm, common cold, flu, chicken pox, just now we have seen through air. So through direct contact, With the sick person and the next is through insects like mosquito flies or fleas they are the carrier of germs like uh, malaria that is caused through the anophil mosquito which are the carrier of the malaria germs. When it bites a healthy person, he or, he or she may get infected with the malaria. When the house flies sit on the dirt, germs stick uh, to their bodies. And when they sit on food, they transfer the germs to the food. And when this food are consumed by the person, they become sick. The female and its mosquito act as a carrier for the dengue virus. Through cut and wounds like tetanus, cut and wounds also uh, spread, uh, uh, cut and wounds are also infected by the microorganisms like tetanus. Now these, we will see 
uh, one by one has all the five types of microorganisms that is bacteria virus protozoa algae fungi how uh, which uh, which disease they are caused in plants animals and humans first we will see in bacteria So harmful effect of bacteria, harmful effect of bacteria, you have heard food poisoning, so this food poisoning is caused by bacteria, so bacteria such as So these two bacteria are responsible for the food poisoning that is Staphylococcus and Clostridium botulinum. These are two bacteria which are responsible for food poisoning. So these microorganisms grows on food articles and produce a toxin. And they, they make the food poisonous. And when these are consumed by a person, they are uh, they are infected, they are infected by food poisoning. Now bacteria, so bacteria spoils the food. Now the bacteria also bring about the souring of milk. Then your putrefication of milk means rotting of mil, uh, milk, sorry, uh, rotting of meat, then uh, fruits, vegetables, potatoes, all these are spoiled by bacteria. <coughs> now what are the disease caused in human by bacteria like just now we had seen tuberculosis cholera typhoid dysentery these are caused by uh, bacteria in human now what are the disease in plants so <coughs> <coughs> So these are food poisoning bacteria. <clears throat> now in human being tuberculosis typhoid dysentery Cholera, these are nine plants like fire blight of apple, pear, then your ring spot of potatoes. These are some bacterial disease in plants. Fire blight of Now in animals, bovine disease in cattle, bovine disease that is the respiratory disease in cattle like cow, buffalo, goat, all these. Then your salmonella in chicken and horse, these are the disease caused by bacteria in uh, animals. <coughs> Yeah. <clears throat> 
Hmm. Now, what are the disease caused by fungi? So, fungi also spoil the food. Then fungi also spoil the spoil the leather. Then like leather products are easily spoiled by fungi in high humidity. And what are the disease caused in humans? Number of disease like ringworm disease. Then your uh, athlete's food scabies. These are caused by fungi in humans. In plants. Downy mildew of grapes, black rust of wheat. These are disease in plants. I'm writing on the board. Don't worry. So here is fungi. Spoilage. College of food, college of leather, <coughs> and then human. Ringworm. So in human ringworms, athletes, food, scabies, these are disease caused by fungi. Now in plants, Downy mildew of grapes, black rust of wheat, these are disease caused by fungi. Now in animals. In animals, fungi causes like blastomycosis, cryptococcus in animals. These diseases are caused by fungi. Hmm. Now, next is your disease caused by viruses. So, fungi we have seen. Now, viruses. What are the harmful effects of viruses? So, in human, a number of diseases are caused by viruses like common cold, chicken. Uh, chicken pox, influenza, polio, measles, AIDS, these are caused by virus. And in plants also, tobacco mosaic virus, maize dwarfed mosaic, these are caused by yellow vein mosaic, which affects vegetables like bhindi, ladyfinger, 
that is a viral disease spread by insects in animals foot and mouth disease of cattle pig uh, and hoofed animals canine hepatitis in dogs and cats all these are viral diseases common cold flu chicken pox polio then your influenza that is flu then your aids these are caused by virus in plants tobacco mosaic virus tobacco mosaic of tobacco tobacco mosaic of tobacco maize dwarfed mosaic animals foot and mouth foot and mouth diseases of cattle then your cattle pigs and hoofed animals cattle pigs and animals so these are disease caused by viruses <clears throat> now next protozoa disease caused by protozoa so in uh, human beings <coughs> like amoebic dysentery caused by entamoeba histolytica sleeping sickness then your malaria leishmaniasis these are diseased caused by protozoa amoebic dysentery Sleeping sickness. Malaria. Smanesis. Analysis. these are disease caused by protozoa now in animals trichomoniasis in bird bird liver coccidiosis in rabbit and kidney coccidiosis in geese these are disease caused by protozoa in animals Cool. 
rabbit now one microorganism that is algae now what are the harmful effects of algae So algae such as Oscillatoria produces toxin in water making the water unfit for drinking and eutrophication. Algae reproduced very rapidly and form a mat like structure on what water bodies such as lake and this al algal mat carries oxygen deficiency in water and limits the sunlight making the condition toxic for the other aquatic organism that condition is known as eutrophication so these are the harmful effects of algae now next term is your communicable preventing communicable disease how to prevent communicable so first of all we have to see what is communicable disease so disease which are transferred from the infected person to a healthy person through air, water, food or physical contact are known as communicable disease. Now some simple methods of limiting the spread of communicable disease are to keep the infected person separate from others and to advise him or her to keep a handkerchief on the nose and mouth while sneezing. So these are the very common things. Disease spread by insects such as mosquito can also be controlled, contain, uh, can also be controlled by not allowing them to breed. To prevent mosquitoes from breeding, we should not allow water to collect anywhere in our neighborhood. Now, Our last topic is food preservation. So how we can stop food for getting spoiled because of the growth of microorganism on it. What are the methods? So we can do it by simple methods like killing the microbes in the food and stopping them from growing again. Now these steps ensure that the food lasts for a longer time without getting spoiled and this is known as food preservation. How to preserve food for a longer time? Now there are some methods, some common methods of food preservation. First is your heating food to a high temperature, killing microbes. So heating anything that kills almost all the microbes. For example, milk and water are, are boiled to kill microbes. Ultra heat treatment that is UHT is the partial sterilization of milk by heating it for a short time in around 1 to 2 seconds at a temperature exceeding 135 degrees Celsius. UHT milk available in Tetra packs has a self life of six months or more until opened so this ultra heat treatment is the sterilization of milk means killing the microbes in the milk pasteurization of milk consisting of heating it to a high temperature of 70 degree for about half a minute and then cooling it quickly this kills almost all the bacteria without affecting the flavor and this method was invented invented by Louis Pasteur that's why it is called pasteurization so first method is your heating 
or uh, heating or boiling when we don't have uh, RO so the most common and most simple method is your boiling water that can kill all the microbes now second is your cooling cooling food stops microbe from growing and reproducing and hence preserve food a refrigerator keeps food at about 5 degrees celsius and keep it from spoiling for a few days a deep freezer preserves food at below minus 18 degrees celsius and can prevent it from getting spoiled for a few months however once the food is taken out of the freezer and warmed microbes again start growing next method is your chemical preservative so the chemicals which check microbial growth are known as chemical preservative they act on antioxidants that is means they remove oxygen from food and kill the microbes common commonly used for pickles squares ketchups some common my, uh, chemical preservatives are sodium benzoate and sodium meta bisulfite these are commonly used chemical preservatives now other preserv other preservatives that are commonly used that is salt salt and sugar both are act as a preservative which checks the growth of bacteria by forcing microorganisms to lose water by a process called osmosis so salt can also um, prevent the microorganism by forcing the microorganism uh, to lose water by a process known as osmosis it is used for preserving meat fish uh, pickle chips etc sugar inhibits the growth of bacteria and is used as a preservative in jam jellies and squashes uh, they they also makes microbe lose water by osmosis means both salt and sugar both uses the same process oil and vinegar they provide an environment in which microorganisms cannot grow so they are used to preserve vegetable fruits fish meat and pickles drying or dehydration of food dehydration means removing water from any food articles food consists of removing water from it this stops microorganisms from growing as they can't grow without water all the cereals pulses spices dry fruits they are preserved by this methods so before storing we are drying in the sun this is the reason last step is your canning after sterilizing sterilizing the food it is canned in air tight containers many canned food items are available in the market so these are the food preservation method so this is all about your chapter in the next video we will discuss about question answer thank you